Ooh, there's more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> I knew I'd get this done. Today we're going to be painting this little pepper. I've just set it here on a, it's just a panel, uh, and I have it on a stack of boxes over here because I don't have an eye level table. So what I've done is I have laid it out and I have the orientation that I think I like and, and I've, I've drawn it on here. Now you can possibly see, let's see here. <clears throat> this video is to uh, let you know that you can paint something very interesting even if it is just one item and if it's just a common everyday item. So anyway, as I drew this on here, you can see some other lines. I could have taken a paper towel with just a little um, moisture on there and gotten those off, but I wanted to show you that I was trying to get the shape right. Okay, so now it's up here. I'm only gonna paint the pepper and the shadows, uh, the highlights in the shadows, okay? So I have a brand new palette. <laughs> Woo! They don't cut in this clean very often. <laughs> so um, I've got a couple of brushes up here. This is a half inch, I think. Um, and I'm just gonna tap it off in the water, tap it off on my paper towel. It needs some moisture for the paint to adhere to the bristles better. Okay, so I'm looking at my pepper over there, and I've got some alizarin crimson. Okay, I'm gonna, just gonna put it over here. I'm gonna add some of the cad red light to it. This could be cad red medium, I don't really remember. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm just using the same paint that I have mixed up. I don't have much mixed up, so I'll probably have to, and this is how I work. This is my process. Again, I, I don't have enough, so I'm just putting together a little more. And you might notice that on my palette is some moisture droplets. And in case I need just the tiniest bit of moisture, I can pick that up and add it to my paint. Now you need to push it down into the weave of the canvas. Now what I'm looking at is, and, and this is the best thing about painting from life, that's what this is called, when you have an, a real object in front of you and you're painting it from viewing it. Okay, so There we go. Okay, now I'm going to, uh, what I see here, there's the stem coming out there, um, is there's a deep dark part right there. So I'm going to pick up more of the alizarin crimson and I'm gonna work out here in the edge of this paint. I'm not gonna mix this whole thing. I don't need that much and I can't mix that much anyway. So I'm gonna put it down in here. Okay. I don't think that's really dark enough. You need a minimum of two values difference. So I'm going to make it a little darker right in there. Okay. All right, so now what I'm seeing is, while well, I've got this dark paint here, is down here is a little dark. And then over here maybe. There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna get that stem in. I'm gonna rinse that off, mostly. <laughs> mostly. And I'm going to it's kind of a 
olive color green. So I've got some of the green here and some orange. I'm trying to make a little olive color. There we go. Okay, so it comes from inside here and goes out. Okay, so there we have that. Now I'm going to rinse that off and I'm going to get that green out. I didn't care if there was some red in there with the green when I did the stem, but I do care if there's some over here. Now, depending on where I'm standing, now if I were standing here and looking at my pepper, I see, let me show you what I'm seeing. I see some of this, but at the orientation that I have it, I don't see it. So I'm not going to paint that. It just depends on where my vision is. Okay, so here comes my red paint. I'm gonna add some orange on this side of that. And there is, right in here, There's some down in here, right there. And there's some here. Okay, so now I'm going to pinch white that off my brush, because I don't care that all of it comes out. I want most of it, but, and I'm gonna go back for that dark again. I'm even gonna add a little more of the alizarin crimson to the cad red over here. So now you can see all the values that I have. And I'm going, when I look at the pepper, I see like some indentations here. And here's another one right in here. I need a little more dark paint. Right in here. Okay, and then right in here, going around, there's some dark. I'm just picking up the dark. I will get that when I paint the background. That will get fixed. Okay, so what I see next, I'm going to cl clean this brush out and pick another one. I think I'll use this one. Tapping it in the water, tapping it off on the paper towel. And I want back in here, I want some of the original color because I sort of lost it right there. Okay, now I want to get some of that highlight going back here. I'm going to add a, just a touch of white to that, and I'm going to do that out here on the edge. I can't mix up that whole thing there. And I'm going to bring it around here and maybe a little bit in, around there. There's definitely some right there. Sometimes it's hard to see what where the light is actually. I'm adding a little more white off on that corner. And I'm gonna Okay, so um, light brings things to you, dark sends them away. So in order to get this down in here, I need to get some dark. Now there is another little scooch of light right there. There's a little something on this side. 
There we go. Okay, I'm not 100% happy with it, but I'm going to move on. No, you're not, Sharon. You know you're not. <laughs> I'm just teaching you a method and you have to play with it and turn it into something. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Uh, I look in my camera. What I see here is not always the same as what I see in the camera. So you might want to use that as a tool for yourself. Okay, so this hand, uh, handle, I always call pumpkin handles, stems handles, and they're not. I'm going to come back and work on that a little bit. I am going to actually bring, there we go, I kind of like that a little better. But now I'm going to add some yellow out here on the corner. <clears throat> I don't need much. I'm going to add a little white. And if I want, there's no point in trying to change this whole amount. It won't work. Not for the little bit of paint that I need. If I needed to paint maybe the whole background, that might be different. Okay, so I'm going to put, there's some kind of like stripey looking things on that pepper stem. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, now. Let me show you on your color wheel. Okay, so we've used red in our pepper. Now green is its complement. And so when you are looking at the shadows of the pepper, you wouldn't add black. You'd add its complement, the green. It makes, it dulls the color, it mutes the color. You can get all sorts of various shades of it. Okay, I'm going to rinse this brush out because I don't want that little, I want a bigger brush. <laughs> I'm coming back to the, my original one, tapping it back in the water, tapping it on the paper towel because it might have dried out by now. Okay, so I've got this great green here. Let's see. I'm going to pull off some of this, just going to put some of that red in there. Okay, so now I'm looking, and, and it, your shadow depends on where the light hits it, okay? But the first thing that has to happen is underneath this pepper, it has to be very dark, and it's where it hits the table, okay? That piece under there. I think I'm going to add a little bit of blue off to the side to make it darker. Maybe even a little purple. There, I want this piece to be darker. And I'm going to push it up in there. There we go. Okay, so now that sort of changed the shape of the pepper and made it more like what I'm seeing. Okay, so now I need the shadow. So I'm coming over here with this mushy, muddy looking stuff. I'm going to add a little white to it. Come back here. I'm just trying to get something kind of brownish, grayish, greenish. <laughs> but since I added that purple in there, sometimes that makes it look really, really purple. Okay, so my light is up here. So my shadow's over here. So I'm going to start here. And bring it around. Pick up more paint. Don't be cheap with your paint, Sharon. I'm just getting a line because that's the end of the table right back there. Okay. Just getting a line. Flip your brush. You got paint on both sides. There we go. Okay. 
That almost looks a little too dark. I'm going to add a little bit of white back into my mix and lighten that up a little bit. Shadows can be very difficult to get the right tone. That looks better to me. Okay, I hope that that makes sense to you. Now, I'm going to rinse my brush. Acrylic paint dries duller and a little darker than it looks. And you, you might think you've got plenty of light on it, but then when it dries, it looks duller. So we're going to come back to our red over here. I'm going to add some yellow to that mix, and it's pretty dry. So I'm going to add all my colors. and just a touch of white, maybe a little bigger touch. <laughs> okay. I'm just kind of tapping that in. And right in here is another. Sometimes you just don't see it, okay? You keep looking, you'll find it. Okay, I think I like what we've got here. Don't forget you've got fingers. Use them. <laughs> you can wipe that off, you can um, blend it in a little better. Okay, so now we have our pepper. I'm going to bring it a little closer to you. Okay. So you can see that you can make, I'm, I'm going to do the background uh, and the table, but I don't know exactly how I'm going to do them. Uh, so um, maybe I'll, when I get this done, I will when I finish this, I'll put the finished painting picture on with this video. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, if you like this, please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, and if you'd like more um, information on beginning painting lessons, go to www.paintingwithacrylics101.com. That's my website and it was created specifically and only for beginners. And I'm going to teach you lots and lots of things on there that beginning painters need but don't always get. So thanks a lot. Have a great day. Let's paint together real soon. Okay, so I finished up this little painting and I used the pepper. I um, put mixed, made a mixture of lime green and some yellow and white for the bottom. And then I had some or I put some orange and yellow and white together for this part here. And then I put some just real quick, easy little checks uh, on like a tablecloth there. And it kind of went into the shadow. So I thought, well, this is a good time. I can lighten the shadow if I choose. And I did, I felt like it was just too dark. So there we have it. I didn't change anything on the pepper, but I did add the background and I did lighten up the shadow. So hopefully you like this. Have a great day. Let's paint together again real soon.